what is going on everyone retired crypto here uh, today we have some mixed news good and iffy um, so great news uh, the Fed will cut rates either tomorrow or Thursday which is 17 or the 18 and uh, today is the 16 so we will see um, a buy the rumor sell the news kind of event so there might be a some sort of a dip um, I did see I think last week the market cap might have been sitting around 1.9 trillion now it's at 2.07 2.08 trillion so there's gonna be some sort of dump but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be massive I I hope that the dump is not gonna be enough to get the non diamond hands to sell but hold on to your crypto um, October November we're gonna see a lot of green a lot of green during October and November September historically is a red month for crypto and I don't think that's gonna change if it does well great that's great for the market but uh, historically rate cuts are good for the stock market and the crypto market now i'm here with cbs so i didn't know this but uh the fed is set to cut rates for the first time in four years so this is this should be great news um i think there's going to be a very long lasting effect from the interest rate cuts and if you're kind of on you know on the verge of wanting to sell or hodl and you're not sure what to do well blackrock is all in on digital assets tokenizing assets um they're building companies to develop digital assets or tokenizing assets um this is old news but just a reminder that a company an institutional investor that manages 12 trillion dollars they are going all in on the blockchain digital assets tokenizing assets and uh, if a company like blackrock is going in they are going to write the laws and lobby our politicians to pass these laws so you know i know they are kind of iffy on giving like financial advice but if you follow what blackrock is doing if we do what they're doing we'll be making money in the future they're not blackrock is not here to lose money they're here to make money so now as far as current events um i noticed that this news kind of dropped crypto kind of went slightly downward with this uh attempted trump assassin uh attempted trump pew pew so um apparently this guy is also in a black rock commercial i don't know conspiracy i don't know a lot of conspiracy around this guy and this whole attempted thing so apparently big supporter of what's going on there with uh in europe so iffy iffy and then right after that we have a massive pipeline fire burning near houston began after a vehicle struck a valve officials say i believe this is an oil pipeline now texas supplies oil to the east coast to the southern east coast as far as i know and if this is a oil pipeline which what it sounds like um you can potentially see gas prices increase uh in the southeast of the u.s but um this is almost i don't know some sort of attack special group attack i know they just labeled the uh, venezuelan gangs um uh, a terrorist group so 
and uh, saw a list. I wish I would have pulled it up. I should have pulled it up during this video, but we have quite a few dozen labeled terrorist groups in the U.S. So very, very interesting. Oh, natural gas liquids are used primar primarily in the manufacturing of plastics. It doesn't say energy transfer. I used to invest in energy transfer stock. They pay about a 10% dividend. So interesting, interesting. So that's oil. Energy transfer is uh, oil. So this oil and I know I think they do. They also have natural gas. Um, but either way, this bad news is really just putting some constraint on both markets. And I do notice that. I don't know if it's just me or superstition or I'm just observant. But anytime we have bad news, the markets are down across the board. If there is a school, pew pew, markets are down. Something bad happened to Trump, markets are down. Pipeline, markets are down. The bridge collapsing, the markets went down. Um, it, it was just for that day. Um, Please correct me if I'm wrong. That's just my observation. Recently, the derailment of the trains, markets were down. So, not sure, not sure what's going on there, what to say. But that is all I have for you today. Um, we are in a bull run, and if you do not swing trade or you do not day trade, long-term trade, we're in a bull cycle, and you will make a lot of money. So continue to hodl, not financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes only.